This is a Flix bus. What is a Flix bus, you might ask? Flix bus is a very cheap mode of transportation. You're eating croissants. Flix bus is a very cheap mode of transportation if you want to go around Europe. Instead of paying money for flights, which are also pretty cheap, or trains, which are also pretty cheap, Flix bus is the cheapest. Although it takes longer, but it's pretty comfortable, it's very nice, and it's green. Not eco green, it's, a, it's color green. <laughs> It was a good joke. It landed. That joke landed. Now we go to Brussels. YouTube channel. I'm going to be subbing for Jaffer today. As you can see, we are in Brussels. Belgium. It's facts! It's facts! It's not facts. These sizes are not facts. <laughs> okay. I know stuff. Damn. <laughs> this is gonna blow up. <laughs> we are in Brussels. This is a Blue Bus. It's a Brussels transport card. These guys do not have it. I have it. I feel privileged. This card basically connects three different transport regions of Brussels. Otherwise, you have to buy a specific transport card for every region, which is very annoying and very expensive. But this card in itself is also kind of expensive, but once you get it, it's cheap. Yes, facts. Right there. Wrap it. <laughs> you go here to buy your tickets and your cards, and then you can get on any of the buses, or trams, or trains that fall within buses. Here we go. We're in the Menninger. Mening. Mening. Menninger Hotel. <laughs> We couldn't use the elevator without my help. I used the card. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by the elevator. This is a card. We're in the Menninger Hotel. In the Menninger Hotel, I said that correctly. And this is our room. It's a very nice hotel. Very cozy, very clean. Oh, hey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's James. This is us going into a room. <laughs> so we are at a Pakistani and Indian restaurant, but luckily the guy was from Pakistan, so me, not her now. But okay, no, these guys are gonna try all of our dishes. They're gonna try um, what was it? All of them. Just all the of whole them. menu. Uh, I forgot what your dish was. Uh, palak paneer. Uh, paneer tikka masala. Samosas. Samosas. And then it's, uh, we, we got our regular food. We got this butter chicken and all that. We got the thalis and all that. Ladies and gentlemen, we are up in Pakistani culture. We've got all these people right here. They're enjoying the Pakistani food. Yes, this time they're ready for the YouTube videos. This is, he's okay with it. He knows what it is. Wait, which one is this one? This is cheese naan. This is why I like Brussels. They have good, authentic Pakistani food. Yes. Yeah. I can do that. For the Pakistani food newbies. They're really good. Really good. That's uh, best I like the I've had. That is the Pakistani establishment. It was really good food. We enjoyed it and it was within 52 euros for everything. So much food. Five, wow. Five people. Wow. And it was for five people. 52 euros for five people. Very cheap. And these are the guys. And she learned a very good word in Urdu. This is like the personal stock exchange. This was made by Napoleon. They're making me boycott it. If you see this feed in the vlog, spam F in the comments. It's a bad dude. It's a bad dude. Yeah. Comment what? L. Comment L. L for Napoleon. This is so pretty. So, that is the Grand Palace of Brussels. Really big, really pretty. The fun story about this is that if you look on one side, look on the other side. Does the right side look taller than the left side? And if you look at, even if you look at the windows on the left side, the windows on the right side, you see those are squarish, those are not squarish. That side is is like slanted to the left, that side slanted to the right. So it's like a very weird mix of things. It was when it was created, it had like so many different elements to it. Even the door, half of the door is different. Yes, facts. Facts, 
Grand Palace of Brussels. Have you had your Brussels sprouts? Thanks, bro. I'm back. What do you think of Brussels? So far, we've only been here five hours, but I like it. Hi, Lisa. In Brussels, you find art pieces like this everywhere. You also find like lots of things linked to, this, linked to the Smurfs and the Tintin comics. It's a very artsy city. So. Do you like the art? Yes. <laughs> Do you guys like the Smurfs? Yes. Kind of. That's literally a Smurf monument. They made a monument for the Smurfs in Brussels. It's one of the only churches I've seen that doesn't have like a tower. Did you just say that? Okay. This is one of the only churches I've seen that doesn't have a tower, but it's pretty squarish and rectangular. It's one of the prettiest churches I've ever seen. Do you like this city? Is it similar to Dallas? Actually, it is. <laughs> we have this just right in Texas. I don't know why we traveled. I mean, we also have Catholic churches yeah. in Texas. <laughs> like lots of them. Crack some jokes right now. Crack some jokes. I can't do this on the pressure. That's a nice church. It's a church. <laughs> James, what's he doing with his hands? I don't, I don't know what that is. So our hotel is a pretty nice hotel. It's made for travelers, it's made for uh, people who are traveling on a budget. So it's like a hostel and a hotel combined. It's pretty nice. Like it has its own like restaurant, it has its own um, like study room, study area, cafe, everything. This is our hostel. This is a good hotel. Can somebody turn off the video? Dear diary, this is my video log of me stalking Jane from the top. He doesn't know it, but I'm recording. He knows it, he likes it, he wants it. Hey, Joe. <laughs> I feel like at the end of this trip, I'm just gonna be. Can you hold this? I'm broke. Day two in Brussels. It's time to tell you all the game plan. The game plan is this it's 12 p.m. We're hungry. We're gonna get some Belgian waffles. And juice for me and coffee for these guys. What is the game plan? What's the game plan? Uh, yeah, we're getting food. That's the game plan. I can't see it. What kind of food? Food. Explain what kind of food. I really am Matt, looking forward tell them to what, this. Tell them what food we're getting. Uh, fluffy pancakes. Oh, they're, they're getting fluffy pancakes. He's getting coffee. He's getting coffee. And what we're getting is fluffy pancakes and apple juice. I look good, I can't talk. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be trying Asian inspired food shop. Uh, Asian inspired food shop. Uh, Asian inspired food shop. Uh, Asian inspired food shop. Asian inspired food shop. Asian inspired food shop. Asian inspired food shop. Asian why is it green?
Let's go. Do you like the food? Yes, it was really, really good. <laughs> I was trying to get out of the frame. <laughs> Something that's new here for me in Europe and that wasn't that common in Pakistan is thrifting. People go to thrift stores and they buy they reuse clothes. It's very sustainable. Yeah, so for me it was uncommon when I came here, but like people reuse clothes and they recycle them in a way. Like these stores have like clothes that are donated and then they remake them, reuse them and Basically, like how you refurbish a laptop, they refurbish them to make them look like pretty, pretty good clothes and for a really good deal. Like, this is called Melting Pot Kilo, and for every kilo of clothes, you have to pay 15 euros. That's very cheap. That's how things go here, and that's how things are becoming more sustainable here. So, what's the game plan now? We went to a thrift store, we didn't find anything to thrift, but now we're going to see the sights of Brussels. Today is sightseeing day. Belgium is known for chocolate, that's why we visited a chocolatier. But did you like the chocolate? I didn't try it. She didn't try the chocolate. We will try the chocolate when it's cheaper, this was too expensive. We're in another thrift store. Thrifting. If you're in Belgium, you should go to the thrift stores. All the cool kids do it. You should as well. We're back to sightseeing. And there are chocolates on both sides, and also waffles, and also fries. That's what Belgium is famous for. I'm confused as to why. Why did they do this? That's the mannequin piss. I don't know why it's there. We don't know why it's there, but it's there and everybody's taking selfies with it. Apparently so am I. All obsession with peeing babies is kind of sus. This is the Mont de Arts. Uh, very artsy, that's the National Library. There's like an art museum here. Very nice, these are people taking photos right next to it. This is James, I'm distracting him from taking photos. This is the Mont de Arts. Brussels is very artsy, there's so much art here. I think this is somebody from South Asia. See the resemblance? Very artsy. So much graffiti. Brussels is very colorful. Do you agree? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, lots of color. Lots of. I mean, right now it isn't. <laughs> Do you think Brussels is colorful? Yes. Do you think Brussels is colorful? Yes. Yes. Maybe like a longer response than the uh, yes. Um. That's enough. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> This is the Church of Our Lady, Church of Notre Dame in Brussels. There are lots of them all across Europe, but this is the one in Brussels. When I was here in Brussels the last time, this thing was under construction the massive ferris wheel in front of the Palace of Justice. Don't judge me for eating at a place named Huggies. Ah, 
haram drink halal drink haram drink halal drink okay spam in the comments what i should do still have my brussels card from the last trip that i made in march to mobin and we are we ate we had food now we're going to go to the atomium which is a very nice modern art thing in brussels and then we're going to go to some other historical sites and probably go back to this place called the palace of justice for the sunset what am i doing yeah just that there's a cold play concert that's happening on this 5th and 6th but i'm not rich enough to attend it so please spam the comments with likes hearts and support for me so i become famous enough to attend a cold play concert actually let's let's pray we all can attend a cold play concert some day these guys already have but me first please again and her as well these guys have no none of us have none of us have pray that we go to cold play concerts i'm making up lies i'm making up lies i'm so sorry fashion we have our own fashion this is called fashion we are next to the atomium the atomium My next cupping, right? yes you're cupping <laughs> it's a really big monument to scale that is james he's right over there it's a pretty warm day but we made it all the way to the it's in the north of brussels It's a really warm day. That's why we get Lipton iced tea, not sponsor. Get a sponsorship. Get a sponsor. Sponsor. I will get sponsored. Blur one day. out the thing. Gonna, yeah. Okay. We're gonna blur it out now. Coke. Sponsor. It's gone. It's gone. Coke. Sponsor me, please. Yes, please. <laughs> this is us. There's a bee right next to me. That's not my fault. Are you recording? Yes, it is. Alright, come on, come on. <laughs> we recommend. It's huge. Now we go to another side. What do we want? When do we want it? Sponsor me. Sponsor me, please. Please sponsor him with your blood money. Also, this hotel has this thing that you have to use this card and tap it here. It goes green. Then I can go down. Back at it. We're back at it at the Royal Palace. <laughs> the Royal Palace. I forgot the name of it. Um, yes. the Grand Center, the Grand Palace. Yeah. How are you? With Kuya Jan Kurban from Iran. You might have, you might have seen him in our Lisbon vlogs and the Figueira de Foz vlogs. And this is Mubin Uddin. You've also seen him from the Portugal vlogs and the Berlin vlogs and the Nas vlogs and the other vlogs. And he's everywhere. We ignore him. We're with Puya now. <laughs> Hi. Again, this is Puya. Say something, Puya. Hi, I'm so happy that I met this guy here. Puya studies in Ireland. That's a shirt. And he's gonna go to Poland after this. This is an internship. Yeah. And yes, we met in Portugal. He's currently in Brussels, with, but his luggage is in Ireland, and he's gonna go to Poland. <laughs> Very international. And yeah. right now we are in the Grand Palace. Hash mom. mom. <laughs> this is special Andalus sauce. It tastes just like a McDonald's burger, and you only get it in Belgium with the Belgian fries. To get to the Palace of Justice, which is the ideal sunset spot in Brussels, you can either take an elevator, which takes us up there, if you're in the base of the city, or you can go up from this other shopping district. Almost sunset time. It's very bright, but this is from where you can see the sunset. We are in front of the Brussels view point. That's called the Brussels view. Very nice, what's it called, a Ferris wheel? A very nice Ferris wheel. <laughs> and right when the sun is in our eyes, we're not doing this because we want to look hot. We already are, <laughs> but we're here because we're here to see the sunset. Faces look very pretty because this is golden hour. 
This is Huya Gian Kurban from. <laughs> that's his bag. That's Tavish. He's posing for photos, and that, that's James right there. James. What's up? That's Let James. the glow. <laughs> this is for nine euros. You go up here, and it has like. Oh. It's nice. Hi guys. Oh my God. Hi guys. Risking it for the biscuit. Pretty pretty high up here. Please put your camera inside. <laughs> The this camera is, is outside. Foolish behavior. This is not foolish behavior. This is this is very nice. This, you know what? The content that I make for you guys it's special. So what please, please You're like, be share, like, falls, share, subscribe, and comment, and enjoy the view. If it falls on someone. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. 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 That's the Palace of Justice, by the way. <laughs> That's the sunset. BT dogs are muscles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you afraid of heights? No, I'm not afraid of heights. I'm afraid of falling. <laughs> oh, your phone it's different. Falling. I'm afraid of stuff falling from the height. This is enough for Brussels. The vlog would end. Goodbye. Actually, this is the Terador Force Land that he's saying that. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice. Okay, it's fine, not fine. Right. The vlog might end. Might. <laughs> if it doesn't, you get more content. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.